Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and today the Philadelphia 76ers are re-signing power forward slash center Paul Reed as they have decided to match the Utah Jazz offer sheet with Paul Reed on a three-year $23 million deal that will get Paul Reed to stay on the Philadelphia 76ers as... Um, Philly matches that three-year, $23 million offer sheet that Paul Reed did sign with the Utah Jazz. Now, the deal that he signed, the interesting thing, the really interesting thing about this deal is the deal he signed with the Utah Jazz is that the first year is guaranteed. And, and I love what the Jazz did. Uh, that The Jazz made this harder for the Sixers to maybe want to possibly... Um, Maybe not wanting to. I mean, the the offer they made to Paul Reed and the the, the offer sheet he signed, it, it was smart by Utah. It could, because Philly, you know, in my opinion, I thought that Philly, you know, not only was Utah overpaying for him just a tiny bit, I thought almost $8 million a year for Paul Reed was a little bit overpriced, maybe five to six, six and a half, maybe say 70 year would be in the right area but uh you know i i thought they were overpaying for a number one but one the only the first year of that contract was guaranteed but if either utah or philly if they match the deal make it to the conference semifinals next season the two other years are guaranteed so that means that if Philly makes it to the conference semifinals next season, then Paul Reed's the the first, the second and third year of this contract for Paul Reed are both guaranteed, which is a gamble for the Sixers. Um, which is a reason why I thought maybe the Sixers wouldn't match that offer, just because of that reason of you know having having to have two years, you know, potentially being guaranteed. Um, if you make the second round, when you have guys like Tyrese Maxey, Joel Embiid, and if you trade Tobias Harris and James Harden, whatever you get for those two guys, added in with Joel and Tyrese Maxey. So, uh, and then some other decent players around them, there's a decent chance the Sixers could end up making it to the semifinals next season. But I don't think it was in, that was enough for the Sixers to end up declining or deciding to not match that offer uh, because they wanted Paul Reed back. He's a guy that had a big part of, you know, the end of their regular season run. You know, to start off, Montrezl Harrell was getting a lot of minutes, but then late in the season, middle, you know, after All-Star break, late season, Paul Reed started getting backup center minutes. He averaged only four and five. But you view this as a team where, you know, Joel Embiid's getting a lot of minutes, so, you know, he wasn't really needed you know, that necessarily that much unless Joel Embiid was injured. And then, you know, not only that, but um, he wasn't really taking a lot of shots for the Sixers. He was playing good defense. He, you know, he was scoring every once in a while once once they needed some buckets, second chance points. But then his, then his numbers started to go up a little bit in the playoffs. He even, got, he even got a start in the playoffs. It was game one against the Celtics. That big game, James Harden had like 40 45, whatever, or did he have 50? I can't even remember. Uh, it was a big game James Harden had um, in game one against the Celtics in the semifinals. He got the start because Embiid was out, and he had, I think it was like, he had like, I think it might have been like 12 and 10 he had, and he or maybe it was 10 and 11 or 12, something like that, and he had like two like four clutch free throws especially when he's not you know you know stats sorry statistically he has not been a great free throw shooter and he knocked down four straight free throws for the Sixers uh to you know keep them in the ball game and he was his stats also went up in the playoffs you know in Philly's two series and they're in the 11 games they played in the playoffs which I, th- I believe he did play every single game in the playoffs for Philly he averaged Five points per game in the playoffs and six rebounds per game. So, so the rebounds went, I think, like one and a half up because it wasn't exactly five. It was like four point something during the regular season, and then the points went a little bit over one points per game up for him. So his stats were way better in the playoffs, and he still was getting around the same amount of minutes. The only thing I really wonder about this signing is like, 
Philly's already signed two other centers. They signed Mo Bamba, a guy who you know is you know a really good center. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't. I don't know if I would call him better than Paul Reed, but I mean, you could say he is, if not better, you know, at his level of play. Um, and then you also re-sign Montres Harrell. So, you know, that power forward slash center, you know, p- death position for for Philly, it, it's pretty heavy. You have now you have Paul Reed, you have Montres Harrell, Mo Bamba, Joel Embiid if he returns. PJ Tucker can play a little five too. He's most likely going to be at the, you know, I think he did play a little bit of five last season for Philly, like at some times, but. Uh, that's not going to happen at all next season with that, with how many centers they have. Um, I would expect maybe with some of the guys like George Yang leaving, who played a lot of power forward for them last season, maybe Paul Reed starts to play a little bit more of the power forward position next season with them picking up guys like Mo Bamba and re-signing Montrezl Harrell and then also having Joel Embiid at the center. I would expect maybe Paul Reed to play a little bit more power forward next season than he does center so he can play more minutes, uh, even though Joel Embiid's playing at the five. And Mo Bamba can maybe still play a little bit. Maybe same thing for Montrose Hale, too. Uh, this signing is really interesting. Uh, we'll see if th- th- those uh, second and third years end up being guaranteed off of, you know, uh, the, the second round playoffs. But, you know, I still think this was a great move for Philly because I don't think this is a move that's going to end up coming back to haunt them because I think Paul Reed's can Paul Reed's going to be a great player for Philadelphia. I just think the only problem in my opinion is like all the depth at at the center and power forward position that philadelphia has but uh i think this was a great move for philly to to match the offer of paul reed and, and keep him on their team user thoughts that's it for the video hope you guys enjoyed and peace out